Finish up that interview with my boy DJ Ben Dana Black. What's good? What's good? What's good? It's the homie right here. Definitely doing big things. Vibrations. Yeah. Make sure you be there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. We and we look alike. No, <laughs> got the same thing. Okay. Okay. DJ Ben 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 Dana. Hey, yo, it's DJ Ben Dana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. Hashtag I am Buffalo. Power 93.7 WBLK, Power 102 Jams. Shout out to the Fleet DJ. Shout out to my YouTube uh, following. Shouts out to everybody that's tuned in. Um, if you're watching this online, um, we appreciate you. If you're listening to this on the radio, we definitely appreciate you. And I got a super special guest in the building. I didn't even know how special this guy was until just recently. I've always heard a lot about him and just just, just crazy stuff. We're going to chop it up and talk about. Like, he, he's done a lot. He got a lot going on. Um, the homie Denzel's in the building. What's good? What's good? What's good, brother? Cool. Cool. Did I say the name? Right, I always yeah, try to make man. sure. Denzel, DZ, you know, it's two names that go by usually these days. Okay, you know cool, cool, cool. Um, so many things I want to ask you. I know you got a lot um going on, so I want to start off with um, you're from the area, you're from from Buffalo, yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, I'm from Buffalo, New York. Born, born and raised here. East side, <laughs> <laughs> you know, East side. Definitely, Buffalo. definitely the East side. So I mean, just being from the East side of Buffalo in general is a struggle. So that's yeah. an accomplishment. Yeah, you do know that <laughs> with within within itself. Um, I know you're involved a lot in uh, music and entertainment industry. Or anything like that too I just want to start off with um, How'd you get involved Initially with music Like what made you what, Did you start off Rapping Singing Producing Or what yeah. did you just So yeah I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much Left field man I start You know I'm, I'm behind the scenes So um, You know My first uh, I'm a video director Yeah You know um, I've been doing it since 08 Since I was graduated From high school And then um, I took it um, To college You know Kept, oh, okay. it, kept it further And And uh, and uh, moved to LA, connected with some people in LA, um, got signed out there. Oh wow! Some, you know, got some good opportunities. You know, I mean, to get myself up the up the up the uh, up the chain, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But yeah, you know. So you pretty much been doing the video stuff for for a long time. Yeah, I'm ten years in, man. Oh, it wow. feel weird, man. Time <laughs> goes by crazy, you know. Yeah. One thing I like to ask people too, I'm um, like with so you, so you've been in there for a while. Um, with technology and all that, how different would you say things are from when you first started? So now with with that. Well, really, I came in when, you know, the people that I admire, like the video directors, the music video directors that I admire coming up, yeah. like Hype Williams, Anthony Mandler. Taj, um, you know, a couple more. They got, they came in a good time where it was all film cameras and when the budgets in the music industry was like crazy. Huge. <laughs> so I'm going in there being inspired by them and influenced by them, like work wise. And I have not even a third of their budgets. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Um, it never, once I kind of like, so I moved to LA and oh, in 011 pretty much And I was pretty much Understudying Like a, a protege of Taj One of my favorite directors Oh wow And I got to kind of see How his budgets was looking Yeah Like the music video budgets Was like good You know what I'm saying <laughs> But um On my end um, I kind of learned How to work with what I got yeah. You know what I'm saying And I pretty much Like just transferred that Over to you know everything that I do in general, even with life though, like coming from the east side, like yeah. you got to pretty much like see the vision and pretty much figure it out to 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 come because it's not around you. you know Definitely, I like uh, part of what you just said. I like that also with um, basically like using what you got. Yeah. To, I'm saying at the time to do what you like needed to do, and I like with me that helped me out too early on. Is like I always wanted like okay, I gotta have a million dollar studio, or I gotta have this type of camera to do what I wanted to do. And then one day I was like, you know what, I got a cell phone. Let me try it. Well, this may not be the best thing, but when you learn how to do it on the stuff that you have, you appreciate the better stuff uh, a little a little bit more. So even though it makes it easier with technology and stuff like that, when you came up doing it kind of higher with not like the biggest budget like yeah. that too, now you could do it with a smaller budget or with a, uh, a huger budget. I mean, it works out on different levels. Like a like when you get a huge budget you literally know how to manage the money better yeah um and not only that like you have a flexibility in your creativity like it was times that i would go on sets in la just to like i was like playing background around the time just like kind of just, just learning and i would see like these big directors that grew up in la yeah. and went to the best la <laughs> college they director they got a job and they camera break or a light break and they don't have nothing they just Depending on it That's it oh, wow. It's over with <laughs> You know what I'm saying Whereas You know People like You know Us Where we just gotta Kinda get it from the yeah. mud Like we gotta figure it out And no matter is the As long as the pro product Is popping yeah. And that's all that matters 
we got the flexibility and that always like helped me in times like many video shoots like crazy sets i've been on like label label jobs i'd be like something to happen and i have to figure it out like that that's good that's good to be able to uh, do that and like not to uh stay on that topic for too long but i always had a question and I, i've never actually met anybody who actually did like video on like a, yeah. a major thing like that like i know like a lot of times artists were saying like back when def jam and stuff was popping they would have like a million dollar budget for a video like how can you explain me how does a video cause a million? like are you buying the people for this video like how does a, uh, uh, it, a video it, cost a million dollars it goes every detail matters man so like even for um uh videos like let's see like um no money no m more money more problems by yeah. biggie i know that was a million dollars what video was that when he was like backing up on the freeway is, is that was that biggie, was that biggie, benjamin's biggie, can't you see oh yeah i know what you're talking about yeah, yeah, yeah definitely he in miami shut down the freeway Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I didn't think about so that. So you gotta think about permits right off rip, right off that. Then you yeah. gotta think about the Bentley itself. That oh was yeah, one. that's like fifteen hundred right Dang. there a day. Then you got the stunt like that. It took, oh, yeah, it took yeah, practice yeah. for them to do all of that on purpose. You got the helicopter that costs money. That scene that alone either. is like that's like thirty grand right oh, okay. there. I, I can see that. Yeah, then you got the boat, the cameras. The <laughs> back in the day, we couldn't just go to Best Buy and get a drone, bro. Like. They had to really get that Actually drone, drone, that, yeah. drone. So, you know, it's just like all details. And then back in the day, models used to be held higher and then more appreciated. You know, yeah. sad to say they ain't not now, but, you know, you know, models like freaking Buffy the Body and all of them, they used to get paid guap. Oh, like, wow. Like show money. What well, people, artists <laughs> get paid to go for shows now, they used to get paid that for videos. That's right. I never really thought about, like you, like you said, like the details of the car and shutting down the freeway. I just looked at the video. I was just like, I was in, but yeah. now that you say that, I actually, yeah. that's, a, that's a lot of money. Even now, though, <laughs> I mean, it's not, I mean, million dollar budgets ain't, it's hard to come by, but like even the videos that, you know, I'm doing, I mean, I've done some big artists, but like at the same time, not touching no million dollar budgets. Yeah. But, that adds up like it'd be a certain figure that the the budget will cause and that would be gone in no time yeah. you'd be like yo how the heck did this go but it's just like <laughs> every detail matters man Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you definitely. I just learned something new, yeah, so I know y'all listening now. I'm asking the questions that I feel that y'all would want to know also too. And I know. Um, so we'll get into the topic. I know you have this uh, event called Vibrations. Yeah. I want to um, first start off with what, what is the name? How did you come up with the name Vibrations? Yeah, what, Vibration. What's the name for it? Uh, pretty much. Um, I was at the time I was back and forth out of um, um, well I was living consistently in LA I still do now but I've been coming back here because of vibrations but yeah. there was a time I forgot what year it was I came back for break and I was just like linking up with old friends and new friends that like all do music and they all was fire yeah. like I would be they would be so fire that I would get frustrated how dope they were and, and how they're not like being heard yeah. so it was like pretty much like and then it was also across the board like it would be um models and photographers like a photographer need to get their weight up with models they can't find models and then on the other side i will find models that can't find photographers <laughs> so it's pretty much like all right i need to create a situation where um uh, it's a platform with everybody all in one roof and um and the vibrations come from like everybody um from different backgrounds and different point of views coming together everybody has like a perspective oh, which so everybody has a different vibe so it's pretty much like everything in a soup like everything yeah. all in one and everybody connecting and then since then like everybody been following suit you know what i mean a lot of things have come i've seen a lot of uh progression in the city yeah. in the creative scene in the music scene since then you know it's a lot of more connections and togetherness i met him at one of my events yeah <laughs> so you know what i mean um yeah that's what that's, that's definitely is. dope like the, even that whole concept i honestly i couldn't have thought of that that's that's dope to be able to <laughs> yeah put it together like that and i actually met a couple artists like i was saying i went to one of the uh, vibrations event the one that was on um heard on like when i seen it like it was just like because like every city has like showcases and network yeah. events like that too but it's different when you have like a one it was like this seemed like something that like Def Jam or Interscope was like here yeah. go four million dollars and just put it like it was so professional you had everybody who was 
anybody in the building and was I got a chance to really network with like some different artists who I wasn't even able to get in contact with yeah. at the Vibrations event. It was just it just looked dope like that whole thing be able to put that together. I know that was a lot of work. Yeah, man. I mean, the whole idea of it is like, all right, let's just be real. You know what I mean? Everybody got dreams and stuff. Like this mad artists out here, this mad like I said, creatives out here. But you know, sometimes money don't allow them to go to L.A., yeah. New York, and whatever to connect the dots. You know what I'm saying? This is a time where it comes once a year where you could pretty much it's in your backyard and yeah. you can connect with whoever you could connect with and not only that man it's just like bridging that gap you know right now we getting a lot of momentum buffalo getting a lot of momentum yeah. right now with west side gun conway and benny the whole griselda movement um bsf and you know everybody even um homie that created do say palooza yeah he's from buffalo i just found out too that's crazy buffalo got a lot of people that's and even my homie keys yeah big producer out in atlanta it's like my boy you know what I mean His birthday just Was yesterday But um We got the momentum now Yeah So it's like Now let's keep it going But like let's Bridge that gap Between the industry And here Yeah like, It should be You know I When I um Like going back to LA I learned so much Like when I was When I was there Like consistently um I used to find that um I used to take to The Bay Area a lot I yeah. used to go there a lot I used to meet a lot of people From the Bay Area and I noticed how it was such a culture there. Yeah. Like it, it would be artists that's crazy famous there, but if they go to LA, they it's like they can walk <laughs> down the street. But that's good and bad to that. But the fact that they can get that notice, notice credit, and the industry come there to find yeah. artists, I feel like this is the new Bay Area. This is the East Coast Bay Area, and I'm trying to make that happen. That's definitely dope, and it shows that. Um you really have a heart for the city, for your, for your area to even do that. Because like you said, you don't went to L.A., you done met all these people. You could be the type of person like, you know what, I done met these people. Let me just keep this to myself, do my own thing. But to be able to open that up to the city and for everybody to really come and uh, be, be a part of it. And any artist is listening to it, this is something that this event you definitely want to be at. Like this is going to be the, the the thing, basically connecting the dots to everything that you, that, that you need. And that's good that you really have the heart to want to help other people. Because I mean, you don't have to do that. It takes your time, it takes your money. It's you putting, even with people that you inviting to come to the vibration to talk about that you putting your own name on the line and risking your own thing for for your city so i think that's definitely definitely dope man well i mean don't get me wrong man I, i'm definitely doing that but i wouldn't even do this if i didn't come across so many amazing talent yeah like you know what i mean there's some cats out there that's fire <laughs> i one of my homies man we was uh actually coming down here downtown to a loft and he's playing me his music remind me remind you um even in general the culture here is very humble and very it's very humble characters here. Yeah. So my homie, he's mad humble. He's talking to me like, yeah, listen to this song. Let me know what you think. Fire. <laughs> like, I almost fought him after. I'm like, yo, bro. <laughs> like, bro, like, if you don't put this out, bro, like, yeah. like I'm not playing. Like, you think I'm, I'm, I'm smiling at you right now? But bro, like, put that music out, bro. So it's like, it's mad crazy talent here. Bro. Yeah. I don't see why it shouldn't pop. And I'm just trying to, like, do what I could. Use my connections from... Me um, being a video director Which I still am But then also too bro Like in general I want to be When it's all said and done with me My legacy I want to be a music mogul I want to yeah. be responsible For putting the whole region on the map mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying Like in all facets And making sure people wake up And realize that Yo This is a region that's like You know Putting out some crazy talent man yeah. Like and consistently And I think uh, One of the things that you also said Like with Um uh, seeing like how your man had like good music like that, you was like, you need to put this out. A lot of times I come across the same thing as a DJ, where it's like I'll come across an artist, I'm like, yo, this is no reason why this artist shouldn't be buzzing in this whole tri-state area. And I think the one thing to answer the question, well, you kind of answered yourself is they missed it, they don't get the information. So I think an event like this to get, I've had artists who they sent me a hit song for radio and it has cursing in it, and they don't know like yo, you can't play cursing in your song, or they may not know like you can't send me a. a Inbox on Facebook of your song. You need to send me an MP3 or a, or a link or something I can download like that. So a lot of times you're really just missing the information. They got the talent or like that too. They need like an event like Vibrations and different people like that to kind of just really just the information. I think a lot of times it's really just miss, missing missing the information. One hundred percent, one hundred percent, and that's 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 what I'm saying. Like this year, um, this is the best one. This is gonna be the best one. I got Rock Nation involved. Oh yeah, yeah, you I did, I did like, see that. I got executives. I got Rail Carter. Jay Z's nephew, yeah. coming. He's an A and R at Rock Nation. Oh, sweet. Um, they're launching something, a situation that I won't announce, but it's gonna be set up to where it opened up doors for indie artists. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And they here to scout talent. Literally, 
I got somebody that works close with um, Nipsey Hussle and Casanova, who's a part of Rock Nation as well. Definitely. You know what I mean, they had dinner with uh, all of Jay Z's homies. I'm looking <laughs> on Instagram, I'm like, dang, and I'm on the phone with them. I was just on the phone with them yesterday. Yeah. And they talking about how excited they is and how much you know how much they admire and they want they all in pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the people and, and don't get me wrong. I mean, there's a lot of great artists out here, but there's also a lot of artists that need some more time. You yeah. Know what I'm saying that ain't there yet. Yeah. You know, and and this is not a platform for them. Yeah. <laughs> they can come and get information. However, the platform is for people. Who I see in the team see that's been grinding. Yeah. Literally. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we're just trying to help them out. Some artists be thinking that they are, you know, don't put the work in, you know what I'm saying? As well. But, you know. And it's crazy. It's like you saying something like I, like when I say this to people, they don't be believe me. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully when they when they hear this from you, it'll be somebody who's more, way more established than me that they understand it's not just tripping, a man? it's not you, it's, man. it's not it's not it's not a it's not a hate thing when you tell an artist like you know what? You not you only got two songs to your to your life right now. You're not ready to, to right. I mean to take off right now. If Def Jam called you with a deal and you got two songs, what are you gonna? I mean, you're, I mean, not even that though. Like you gotta pay to play. Yeah, Def Jam ain't gonna call you if you don't pay them to sit down <laughs> yeah. with them first. A lot they don't understand it. Yeah, you gotta you gotta pay to play, man. If you listening? You are, you know and you know what's up. You can understand what I'm telling you. Like people out there that gotta learn how to. Hey, like as a music video yeah. director, I've I have seen the worst stuff here. <laughs> it, like it's cats just trying to get the best music video with a hundred dollars, yeah. bro. Like, have, like, don't come to me if you haven't did your research on me and approach me in a way. Like, don't you think I shot a video for a boogie with the hoodie for a hundred dollars? <laughs> Like, like, like serious yeah. Like you know what I'm saying Like yeah. what You know what I'm saying Like invest in yourself Get the studio Buy a studio Like you know what I'm saying Like and it's, you, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good that they can hear that Because honestly It's the, it's the brutal It's the brutal truth Like you gotta You gotta have your stuff together Like it's not just a, a lot of artists feel like Well my man hot Everybody should just do everything for him Nobody owes you anything In this yeah. industry So you gotta kind of be humble Or even with um, I tell people A lot of times It's your approach um, I've had artists who've approached me and their music has been absolutely horrible. But because they approach me in a in a correct way, I'll take the time to listen to it and critique it and say, "You well, you know, you could change this or this sounds kind of like muffled like that or this was kind of offbeat." And then I have an artist whose music might just be super dope, but I don't know this guy. He just randomly inboxed me a song saying, "Listen to this." Like, what do you mean, like? No, hey, how you doing, Bandana? <laughs> nice going. I like what you're doing. I want you to check out my music. Like sometimes it's really on how you approach people. And I know um, in this industry you gotta. Uh, I tell artists all the time too. Like you gotta, you gotta pay to play. But sometimes you can get stuff uh, free just off of how you approach people. Like yeah, a lot of times, yeah. just people may charge you to yeah. review your song, but sometimes you might network the right way and they'll. Help you do it And I might have a man Who have a studio You know like I like this kid He approached me the right way Link him with this person And you know what I'm saying You good A lot of times It's the way that you approach Relationships people. is key man yeah. Like I I literally The things that I've done And I got a long way to go man Like, like As everybody else But The things I've done so far Has been literally A testament to like Me having that relationships And like Maximizing the relationships I got now Yeah And, and sometimes Just like letting it be Some people like Wanna Some people treat it like Alright I got this relationship I'm about to get some more Well really You, you gotta <laughs> maximize The one you yeah. got You know what I'm saying Cause that can Trinkle to Real authentic More relationships yeah. As opposed to You just meeting somebody Just to meet them you know Yeah You know like Networking Which is a part of this event Um that's an aspect where you can do that but like if you connect with people like just you know how are you doing like them texts and stuff yeah. like calling people when it's not about business you know what i'm saying hope all is well merry christmas like that stuff add up yeah. and i did a, um I, I told an artist this before too like in a video that i did and i was like honestly as a dj if you're just regularly checking up on me hey how you doing i know it's not about music i know that you're just doing this to yeah to, to, yeah. to get good but i, I respect that yeah. more than a person who only hit me up about music so even if you just yeah. shoot a text hey i don't got nothing going on I'm just checking to see how you doing that still means a lot even though it might be genuine for some people for the most part in this industry you know that if I didn't yeah. grow up with you we not best friends like that too that that's the reason why you're doing it but I respect you at least taking that initiative to to do that it goes it goes it goes a lot but a lot further you know what too like you got to uh pretty much it, it's always good when you can bring something as yeah. well to the table like offer something yeah you know what I'm saying like that's always good too yeah. Before you just ask Ask for a handout Like just pretty much give I think that's the name of the game anyway Like 
keep giving, 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 giving. You give, le- you get leverage from that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you get that leverage. I feel like giving is the, one of the best formulas. Definitely. And with the um, with the vibrations event too, is this just like for now, just a Buffalo thing, or do you plan on uh, like expanding this to other areas and stuff too? Um, so uh, I'll say yes and no. Um, yes, this is a Buffalo thing physically. Yeah. So. Um, this year we're doing a lot of things Like since it's been going This is our fourth year um, It's been all event Like physical You just go there Yeah um, and, and we're going to keep that going We're going to keep rising With bigger artists and, and, and bigger headliners We also got a headliner this year Which I'm going to announce this month But um, no um, In terms of We're going to be expanding Because we're expanding our YouTube channel Oh okay um, yeah. Second quarter and basically, that's going to be a platform where people can log in and see um, on the internet what Buffalo has to offer, whether it's music videos, um, interviews, behind the scenes. Um, we're really going to like hone in on this region and pretty much like put out crazy content consistently. I'm talking about every day, like mashing the gas. That's um, dope. Recently, um, the recent two videos was Conway um, Overdose that yeah. I directed. That's doing well on the internet right now. So check it, check it out on um, YouTube. Just Google Conway Overdose Vibrations, and it'll be on the YouTube channel. And we also did El Camino. Um, we did a video for El Camino. That's out there as well, and it's doing well. Definitely dope. I going, just seen man. that Conway drink the other day too. Like that's that's dope. Like it's. I don't like. I mean, because you are, you you do the video like that too. But it just seems in my mind, it just seems impossible to like, like capture that feel, like how what he's rapping about and how the video actually looks. Like it's just I don't know how to explain it, but that's dope that how you can do that. Like with the the feel of his video and the scenes and the way that the, the video actually looks, it goes with the song. A lot of times I see artists with things like an app called Trilla or something like that, where they like shoot the videos on their phone, hmm. and it has nothing to do with like the feel of the song, but that it, it just yeah. it has a good feel, good feel to it. Yeah, man, I appreciate it, bro. I mean, um. I've did a video with him before last year um, for this song called Tempo. Oh, okay. And it hadn't it didn't come out yet. I guess it was some label stuff happening. But he, he was like, Yo man, we're gonna double back, we're gonna get some we gonna get some more. Oh, that's sweet. And we got more videos to come too. Like, um he's super dope and good to work with, man. Yeah. It's a lot of pain in the ass. <laughs> it's a lot of pain in the butt people out there. Uh, that's bad to work with, but it's also a really good artist. And Conway, um, definitely a good artist to work with. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Let hey. you, he lets you, um, he gives you a vision. He gives yeah. you an idea of the direction that he wants to go towards. And then he allows you to fill in those blanks. That's dope. I know that got to be like a, a big responsibility too, but to be able to execute that and execute that so good, that's yeah. that got to be a good feeling at the end of the day. Yeah, man. Definitely good. Um, so with the one thing I like, like I'm sort of like a, a realist. I like to ask people not just a good question like that too, but with the videos and stuff like that you have done, or even with the vibrations event. Um, we start off with the good. What's been like the the best part of it as far as like the outcome of it? Was it uh, artists come up to you at the end of it, it was like, yo, I learned this, or just um, how do I explain it? Like when you when you do the events after the event is done, what makes you feel the best about the event? Whether it's just okay, it all went down with no problem like that too, or maybe it's a testimonial from an artist, or it's just we just successfully did an event. Yeah, it's multiple things. I mean, I'm naturally a people person, so yeah. like when people are, when I make people happy or make somebody life easier, yeah. that makes me happy. You know what I'm saying? When I make when my when my team is happy, yeah. that's good too because that's key too. I wouldn't you know what I mean I can't do it by myself, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, um, definitely um, Cause I sit down and, and when I create these ideas I don't just create them I figure out the purpose of it How is it How do I want it to impact yeah. All these things And when that happens And when it actually Comes out to play yeah. Like when people Yo this changed my life like, <laughs> If I would've never been here I would've never been there yeah. Like that that's, that's cool that's the good you know feeling, what I'm saying yeah. So I'm, I'm just trying to keep that going That really That's the fuel right there oh, okay. with, the, with the vibrations you know what And what's the uh, We're putting these events together What's the hardest part That you would say about it Like what's the part Everything you just like? <laughs> Everything yeah, Everything is hard Um, You know Getting m- the money together yeah. A lot of people think that This stuff is easy man Like The people that I'm bringing A part of this event this year It costs yeah. money man like it costs money But then um, You know 
locations is a real problem in Buffalo. Oh yeah, big problem. I didn't even think about if that. If you yet. listen to this and you own something, or if you want to own something, I really, I really want you to go grab some space and make some venues out of it because the artists in the in, in, in the music community need it. It's good. You'll get some good ROI on it, bro. Whoever you listen, whoever's listening, locations for yeah. sure. You know what I'm saying? Because certain people, you know what I mean, don't really. Um, a lot of people ain't gonna be able to see it until it's all form full picture, but we can't wait on them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying them. You know who I'm talking about, but definitely locations. Um, 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 the biggest thing is the last minute things that just pop up out of nowhere that can <laughs> literally be life or death to your event. Yeah, like some things that I can't even call right now. Watch when April. April 20th come I already know I already know It's gonna be something I already know Yeah And, and it's good that you I mean like so So positive of it Like you know that It's gonna be something that Like no event really goes Just completely like flawless like, yeah. Even though like When I went to the Vibrations event I was looking like Yo how did he do Like this It was just so like Professional looking Everything was like on time The sound and everything Was good The look The feel Everything was just like Perfect and I know Dude, like you, you said You came to the second day man The third day was fire man I think I had to work The third day I don't okay, remember okay. But that, that second day Was like It was literally like I was like at the Like Grammys after party Or something It was yeah. just like So well put Like the lighting And everything Was just good Like a totally just I pretty good, much good Take film. my same formula For videos yeah. And then use it For a, a experience and an event yeah. You know what I mean Like you know We take our time On the lighting The, the set designing how it feels, the color, the music when you walk in, like the thir- the third day. Yeah. Um, when people walked in, it was like some ambiance music, until, <laughs> and, and then the clock was like winding down until the show start. But oh, it felt sweet. like a movie, like a dream. This year we're gonna go hard with that too, man. We try to like spark the mind. Like I feel like, um, I feel like nowadays, and and a lot of people can relate. The creatives. I feel like going out to the, the club and drinking. Is all you doing? That's not good. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta go to go somewhere, and it gotta be different experiences yeah. that is involved in it. You know what I'm saying? Like just going to the bar, and just listening to loud <laughs> music, drinking. That's sometimes he's boring. Yeah. You know? I need something else that's gonna spark my interest, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Buffalo is a very small city as well, so we see the same people. Yeah. So we try to create different. Things that spark the interest When you get there You're like wow This is dope Man this is crazy right there Oh shoot look at the person Doing that right there Oh shoot Like let's take a picture over here Oh well, let's get some drinks Oh yeah. and the music is fire I want all of that To go in some people's minds So we we'll oh, try okay. our best with that yeah. And before I forget I just want to um, ask too Just so if you're If you're watching this On the YouTube channel Or uh, on the website You'll be able to see The links below the video For the people that's Listening to this on the radio Where can they find out More information about The Vibrations event Whether they want to uh, I guess purchase tickets to go Or I guess is it's too late for them to perform or whatever like that too to be a part of the event yeah. or if they want to get information yeah yeah just reach out to vibrationsevent.com um, see all the uh, overall details and um, what it's about too if you know if you're first time hearing about it you know uh, Facebook we all keep we keep up those updates from there vibration 716 is on um, Facebook also on Instagram vibrations event um, and also check out our YouTube um, vibrations um um, keep in keep in tune with us, man. We here we here to really like change change the 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 air. You know what I mean? Keep changing the air, be a part of the movement. And a lot of people are looking at the city, you know, and we wanna pre- pretty much do our part and allow that to continue to happen. I know some stars out here, you know what I mean? I see some stars like all the time. You know what I mean? I, they just don't have the look yet. Yeah. They don't have that light yet. You know what I'm saying? So we gon' we gonna do that, whether it's um, our events whether it's on um, 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 YouTube, our channel, you know, we're going to do our best to, you know, push forward. Okay, definitely. So I also have, like I said, the links below, um, below the video, below wherever you're watching this right now to, uh, to check out the vibrations. And um, did you give them like your, do you have like an Instagram or Twitter or anything like that? Me. My personal Twitter is DZ underscore Williams. Um, same as my Instagram. Um, yeah, be on, a lot, be on the lookout for my label I'm dropping. Um, next year, 2020, I'll, I'll drop the. I, ha- I have a label on the low right now. Oh, sweet! <laughs> but I'll, 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 you know, I'm a creative man. I be having so many ideas, man. I just be trying to execute. <laughs> so <laughs> this year is all about vibrations and bringing that awareness. Definitely. You know, um, be on the lookout for our celebrity act. 
I just got it locked in. You know what I'm saying? We getting the details straightened out. Um, be on the lookout for more lineup announcements. There's a lot of great people on the lineup on a panel discussion on, on day one, yeah. which is super crazy. If you want to learn how to move and shake in the music industry, in the entertainment industry, whatever you do, whether you're an artist or a management, um, whatever, you, whatever you, you know, day one is definitely your thing. If you love music and you love the culture of Buffalo and the surrounding areas and you um, want to figure out where to go to get lit, day two is for you as well. And day three, which is Plug and Play, um, which is um, presented by my homies AO and Keys, Grammy-nominated producers. They're coming out um, to hear the best talent, along with the Rock Nation um, uh, executives. Man, it's an opportunity, man. It's in your backyard. There's no reason why you should not come to this event. You know you know what I'm saying? It's only cost you a couple dollars, you know, and, and, and it's there. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be successful, you know, pay it forth, man. Invest in yourself. Or not, you know, we're gonna have fun. <laughs> we're gonna have fun it's, regardless, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely well worth it. You hearing this from Bandana Black himself, it's definitely well worth it. Like, I would suggest every artist, the, the, no matter what level you want, at least come here just to see. So, even if you're not ready to take off like that yet, come here to see the network with different people. Like, you definitely gonna get something from it. Even when I was there, like, some of the artists that were there, and I was just like, yo, I never even heard of this artist before. This dude is dope. Like, and then get his information, hit him up, able to get his music, and a couple people were able to get played on the radio also, too. But it was a good event for me just being a special spectator just actually just just watching what was going on and yeah man. finding out new talent and stuff too i definitely want to salute you bro because like you know i'll be sitting home frustrated you know when i see things that should happen and and you make things happen man and like and when it turn in terms of uh giving um the platform for these artists that really need yeah, it bro that's all, that. some pe- that's all people need sometimes man. Yeah. be dark out here man <laughs> sometimes these creatives bro i'll be feeling the same way sometimes it's like yo i want to quit right quick yeah. bro like i want to just quit all of this and i know i know certain artists you know when they get that and they sitting in front of you i know they that that does something yeah. to them, you know what i'm saying so you know appreciate you definitely, you know we definitely. thank you and it's like the, the reason why I've never really given up with it too, because I know what it's like. Let's say I started off as an artist first, like doing poetry and rap and all like that too, and I couldn't find somebody who like to do the studio to show me these different stuff. So I had to like go to the library down the street and Google all this different stuff. I literally learned how to DJ off of YouTube and just watching DJ Noodles and uh, DJ Wolf, not even asking questions. Just yeah, Noodles is the big homie. I love Noodles. Just uh, just watching them and buying a bunch of equipment and messing up a bunch of equipment and trial and error. So I figured like if I went through it, I can make it easier for the next person by you don't got to go through all of this doing all of that i can tell you you can take the information or not it's up to you but i can show you what i learned from it even like what um a lot of times we say is you're not going to get you're not going to get your reward right away sometimes you got to put work in even with the radio here like i quit my job and volunteer here for a year straight like monday through saturday six to ten with mike chaz before i even got a job here yeah and that's how dedicated i was to do it like, i literally quit my job and just lived off of, i had a studio recording people for 20 dollars an hour i do that and rush through here all, all day long and been here for 14 years ever since so yeah. it, it definitely pays off sometimes you might not put that first song out and it take off but it might be that it might be the 10th song it might be your 50th song so yeah. you got to kind of just stick with it if you really believe in it just don't give up on i want to piggyback off of that bro because i definitely agree man like there's artists and in, in general people who want to do things with their life they don't know it you gotta you gotta sacrifice some stuff man yeah i'll give you I, i'll ask you something so say you ever you ever had a situation where you have a homie and um you know he's home but he ain't answer the phone yeah so you just pull up there and he, <laughs> the door is always open you just walk in yeah. i used to do that from coming from buffalo to la i didn't have a place to stay i used to stay with one of my homies and at several times they would never answer the phone because <laughs> i didn't live there yeah. so daggone long that they probably was like dang man yeah. i literally fly to there just to get in LA because I want to stay out there and keep that momentum and get, yeah. to, get to where I need to be. Many times I'd miss meals and slept on concrete floors inside of you know places and stuff like that. Like many yeah. times, like and I never kept, I never stopped, man. Yeah. Like, it gets stressful, but like people got to understand that everybody. I'm not saying that that's gonna be your struggle, but at the same time, when a struggle encounters, when you encounter some your form of struggle, like you gotta keep going, bro. Yeah, because that's that's like. Um, the success is similar to water in the plant. You know, you keep watering it, it's destined to grow. Yeah. It's not going to not grow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You keep working at it, it's going to grow. It's not even a guessing game. Yeah. Like, it's that's just happen. the law yeah. of it. <laughs> like, it's just like, <laughs> so, you know, you just, just, just keep going, keep, keep, keep being persistent. You know what I'm saying? It get dark sometime. It get dark for all of us, but, you know, you just got to, like, keep going, bro. Cause at the end of the day, like, if you really made, 
for um, made for what you want to do, like you're gonna do it, man, or else you'll die anyway. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you'll die not doing it. So why <laughs> just do? Like why not do it? Yeah. So it's good that you share that too, because a lot of times people only look at the outcome, like where we at now. Like, like oh, he got connections with Rock Nation or all these different people like that too. You don't know what he had to. Well, now you do had to go through to get to that point. Mm-hmm. Even like with me, they be like, "Well, yeah, you on the radio, da, 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 you got it good." Like, no, like even it's times now when I'm on the radio and stuff be bad for me or whatever. But it's I, I know my end goal, what I want to do. So it's like I'm willing to go through all of that to get to that point. I know if it's, it has to happen, like it, yeah. regardless, it has to happen. So that's a good mindset to have. And that's and that's the thing too. Like you know, uh, you know, uh, even when it comes to this type of stuff, like. Um, the music industry is definitely a hurry up and wait game, bro. Like they want something now, but then they wait for longest to give you a response. Yeah. You know? And sometimes, you know, it's about it's about money, man. It's about <laughs> money and, and gaining that kind of like opportunity. So you got to be able to create things around what you do that creates different income. I'm yeah. in a space now where two years from now, I'm not even gonna be known. For just creating the vid- videos for your favorite artists or shooting videos, like I'm in a space where I'm trying to be like known for bringing, um, just just being a music mogul, man. Yeah. Like I look up to Diddy, I look up to, I look up to all those cats, man. Like Jay Z, I look all, you know, what I'm saying a lot of people want to be artists, but a lot of people don't want to be CEOs. So, yeah, you know what I mean. That's 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 where I'm at right now, man. I got my media team, top creative. That's who that's who we um, we've been working since like two years now. I'm still building that team. We got vibrations going. And I got my label that's about to drop like next year sometime. But you know, for right now it's vibrations. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm focused on like building that building that uh building that family tree of businesses that all help each other. Definitely. Yeah. And it's good just connecting the dots. Definitely, that's definitely uh, good. So, man, I appreciate you for for stopping by. Like I said, I've always heard a lot about you. It's a pleasure to finally be able to to, to meet you and actually uh, chop it up and learn some of the stuff that you've uh, done. Like that, that video stuff is crazy. Like that's that's, that's got to be thanks, man. You, you got to be built for that. Like yeah. I took a um, when I went to ECC South and we took a class. I think it was um, Adobe. What was no, it? Premiere. Yeah, Premiere Pro. Yeah. And I did like a, it was like a six minute project that we did for like the class. This drink literally took me like 10 years to do like this six minute yeah. clip and the drink was horrible. So yeah, I know yeah. like with the stuff that you do, that's, it gotta be, there gotta be a passion of yours. Yeah, like that's that's on, definitely I'm good. sitting on four videos I gotta finish right now. Some messages <laughs> I ain't even respond to yet. Just hold on. I'm doing something right now. But editing definitely is it, man. That, that's, that's time consuming. Man. Yeah. You know, artists don't understand. People don't understand, man. Videos and stuff. You know what I mean? It's a difference between a cameraman. There's a difference between a director. Yeah. A cameraman, uh, which I don't throw shade at no one. You know, I, cameramen are very valuable. But you should, uh, you know, know who you are. You know, certain people just buy a camera and just think they going to be good. Yeah. And call himself a director. <laughs> no, it's different facets to it. The treatment, how you want it to feel. Like how you said earlier, like the song of Conway matched yeah. the video. Like that's me sitting eight hours chilling, trying to write down photo references, scripts, and like how does the actor look? What yeah. is he doing? You know, what is he wearing? What street? What location? Like what? Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. what? What the gun look like? You know what I'm saying? Like what's? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a lot that goes into it, bro. Like you know what I mean? And people gotta just with anything though. That's what anything. People yeah. can't just come up and say they're gonna host a show. Yeah. And it, <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot that's, harder it, than. It take a lot of work, yeah. man. <laughs> and from from the outside looking in, that's why it's good to have these type of conversations because honestly, people would never know. Even like when I see people like hosting events and stuff in the clubs or like that too, I always been like, yo, like they having fun. They got the mic They run around the club And I actually tried to host the event I'm like yo This is way different than radio It's different being in a club With a microphone With a thousand people Looking at you As opposed to me Being on radio by myself Talking to maybe 10,000 people at a time So I mean I definitely respect What everybody does Again appreciate you For coming through um, Any last thing You want to make sure That the people know Um I want people to let I want, I want people to pay attention to you know who y'all listening to right now Bandana Black because <laughs> man he the future man uh, we all playing our part and I feel like he playing his part too man y'all Appreciate pay attention that. to I mean pay attention to me too man I'm working my butt off trying to um, uh, bring some light and, and modernize this uh, culture 
um, and making it the next big thing um, years from now. This is going to be a hub for everybody to come and check out the best talent on all corners, though. Like, you know what I mean? There's going to be a lot of studios here, you know, soon. There's going to be a lot of video or, or venues here, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be a lot of creatives, you know, everybody going to know what Buffalo is, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm going to make sure and everybody around me going to make sure. Um, and shout out to the people that's doing that as well, um, you know. Uh, I can talk all day, man. Pretty much. <laughs> Definitely appreciate that too. I just want to say one last thing too for the artists and stuff that's listening. You know, a lot of people gonna be hitting you up for videos and people that's doing videos and stuff too. Nobody ever hit me up for a cameo. If anybody's having a video, or something like I just need like a three second clip. Just catch me walking out of a corner store or something, just so I can say I was in the video. Man, I got you covered, man. <laughs> now, if y'all want to, if y'all want some videos, man, holla at me. Um, like I said, this year we really about to shut down the whole YouTube. Um, and, and produce crazy content for local artists So if you listen and holler at me Reach out to me We'll schedule some stuff You know what I mean But at the same time yeah, What's your budget? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> definitely, definitely Make that clear <laughs> <laughs> No, no We gonna, we gonna, we gonna make it work, man We working together, man We trying to the, the big picture is pretty much Like I said You know, to give that platform And shine light on the city So, man, just reach out You know what I'm saying? Reach out we get the videos done. Vibrations, get y'all tickets ready. I'm announcing the um, headliner. It's about to be crazy, man. Definitely, definitely. Well, we're going to wrap this up. It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. Mr. I Am Buffalo, we out. Cheese. DJ Ban Ban Bandana.